seen Coleman. You did business with him and then he disappeared, right? You could say so. Well, you're lucky. His partners often meet with accidents. Where can I find him? Evenings, he collects transports on the dike. If you provide him a service, learn why he needs it done. All right. We'll reward you for anything you find out. So long. Geralt, good to see you. Where are you going? To the dike. No passage. Captain forbids it. Why? Captain's orders. Talk to him. Gentlemen, that's no way to treat a hero. Geralt, the witcher that saved Vizima from a terrible cockatrice. A hero? Well, that changes things. He's almost one of us. In that case, please pass, Master Geralt. We'll drink your health at the inn. Thanks, Siegfried. A surprise in the sewers. A night of the flaming rose. Soaked in stench from head to foot. I usually work alone, but this was an opportunity to see a knight in action. I must say he did rather well for a human. That was rare gratitude he showed. And if that's all I saw... You'll lose half your gold. Wait, someone's coming. It's that white-haired fellow. He spotted us. Careful. He's a witcher. He's dangerous. Finally, the acknowledgement I deserve. Witcher? That seemed like a nice chat. Stop playing the fool. You know. Matter of fact, I do. By the way, you never paid me. Here's a hundred orings. Don't turn me in. Why not? I'm helping Vincent dismantle the secret Salamandra organization. You're not doing too well. Oh, some fool keeps killing Salamanders, spoiling our traps and schemes. <clears throat> Any idea who? No, but if I find him, I'll stop his meddling. Witcher! Tell me about the effects of Fistech. In small doses, it lifts your spirits. Large ones cause euphoria, maybe aggression, but relieve pain and fatigue. Looking for fun or entering the business? Neither. So long. Damn it. Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? I found Coleman. Oh, Ram's meat will fancy knowing that. Well, I lost track of him. I just met him to collect gold for a job. Shame. Coleman's been behaving strangely. I didn't notice anything unusual. Hmm? Well, tough. I was hoping you'd learn something. So long. I'm a fence. I buy and sell. What you deal in? Everything worthwhile. <sighs> so what'll it be? We doing some ploughing business? Have you heard of Salamandra? Piss-swilling reptiles. I've heard of them, but I've no fucking idea what they want. Amphibians. What? Salamanders are amphibians. Now tell me your connection to them. I'll be ploughed if I know. You do business with Salamandra? You have contacts among the city guards. Could be valuable to Azar. Damn dangerous times. I need protection from Salamandra, that's why I deal with the guards. So you say. I pay Vincent's halfwits a few coins and they see to my personal safety. I'm done now, see ya. Hmm, believable I guess. Innocent until proven guilty, I guess. So let's assume it's not you for now. I'd say so. Goddamn Digstra, ace spy. Dog's balls, what a clever analysis. If you figure anything out and need more information, creep on over and we'll talk. So what'll it be? We doing some ploughing business? 
Explain to me why the guards tolerate you. <laughs> That's confidential. You need to know how to take care of yourself. Take care? Both the bastard guards and the arse-loving thieves need me. That's real art, Witcher. I have deals with everyone, and that makes me untouchable. Right. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? The city guards found a Witcher's sword at your place. First of all, it's the cocksucking guards. Second, why do you care? Another Witcher, Berengar, came to see you. Well, it wasn't his fucking razor. How do you know that? I have your boyfriend's other property. The sword I got elsewhere. Other property? Right. Meaning not his sword, got it? Like his undershorts that he pissed all over or something. How did you get Berenger's property? Stubborn ass fellow, aren't you? From a middleman. Where do I find him? At the Hairy Bear Tavern. Doubt he'd want to talk to you. Man named Kalman. So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. Fair offer. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. I'll find you later. You buying? I hear you deal with Taller. Mind your own business. I was sitting with me friends and we're drinking all by then. But she didn't see me cry, cause I hit her in the eye and now she's... Laughing. Oh, my head's spinning. <laughs> what? A witcher? You scheming with Salamandra too? Seen a witcher before? Aye. Uh, when I met those peasants in the swamp, bought that witcher's gear from them. Real cheap. Made a killing, did you? Sold it to Tala for twice the gold. Brickmakers nearly gave it away. Good to know. What you want, freak? I have some questions. You haven't the faintest idea who you're talking to, freak. One word, and before you count to three, you'll be facing a dozen hardened assassins. You'll be dead before you count to three. Well, the cub growls, but does it bite? I could use someone for wet work. I despise your kind. Contempt, wolf cub, is the privilege of the prudent. In all others, it's a sign of youth and ignorance. I piss on your juvenile scorn. What do you want? Ah, uh, how's things? Old whores have wings. Beat it, Witcher. <laughs> Ugh, how can they drink this? What is it anyway? I suppose it's wine. Wine? Couldn't pass for wine's stepbrother. So what is it? Ugh, diluted dog's piss. Thus, I come here rarely. I thought this was the only tavern around. I live in the trade quarter, but the inns there are closed. Wanna earn some coin? You mentioned you might have a job for me. Care to elaborate? I know where to find fine spirit but it requires a sword to get it. You need a warrior to have a drink? I know a place with hundred-year-old wine from Toussaint. What's the catch? The wine cellar is in a house where monsters now haunt. It'll cost 200 orans. Deal. I'll return here at midnight. It wasn't easy, but I managed. Splendid. I have no coin, though. Drank it all away. I'll keep one bottle. You take the rest for your toil. Fine. I knew you to be a decent man. I'll wager your luck excels at dice. I have my ups and downs. I propose an honest game. I might just take you up on that. I can tell you're well-traveled. It's a true honor to play a man like you. 
I'm a witcher. Aren't you afraid I'll jinx the dice? I'd rather lose to someone worldly than beat an ordinary sort. These farmers only wager cabbages. A hunter once frequented this establishment, but I haven't seen him in ages. I think you've seen the last of him. He enjoyed high stakes, but was unlucky at dice. He was unlucky in love, too. If you say so. You make ends meet gambling? Depends who you play and where. Where is it worth playing? If your pouch be full, the wealthy part of town. Here, you're more apt to get stabbed than walk away rich. Take care. I respect those who take risks. Silver sword mean anything to you? Why do you ask? I don't have time for chit-chat. Take no offense. Where did you get the sword? I want it from a gardener. Where can I find him? The garden at St. Lebioda's Hospital. St. Lebioda's Hospital, for victims of the Catriona Plague. Only two stages after this. Old Vizima and Hell. Damn, I'm gloomy. This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earned my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now, and here I am, content. Don't you fear the plague? My garden brings joy. When Melitelli decides my time has come, I will go happily. Tell me about your mercenary days. Bring me a morsel to eat and we'll talk. Mmm, delicious. Amazing how honest toil can stir the appetite. Thank you, Witcher. You were saying? During the war, I served as a mercenary under pretty Kitty herself. You've heard what a warrior she was. What a woman. Strong women. Nothing on this earth like them. Too true. We could take on anyone. I saw half the world as a member of Pretty Kitty's corps of mercenaries. We even went to Zeracania. That's really far. It was hell. Hot as an oven, and humid as a bathhouse. We massacred the natives while Zeracania massacred us. They have flies there that creep up your nose at night and lay eggs. Then the larvae eat your brain and crawl out your eyes once they mature into flies. Disgusting. Many of us died thus. There were also diseases, venomous spiders and snakes, and many other afflictions I can't even name. I even saw a striped horse. After almost eight months of fighting the jungle, we had to retreat. Impossible to win a war if you can't locate your enemy. It was the only defeat Pretty Kitty ever suffered. Interesting story. Thanks. Look how they grow. I'm more interested in silver swords. I knew one of you would come by eventually. You lost it playing dice? I was sure I'd win. Beware the sharp one plays well. Where did you get this sword? Five years ago there was a battle near Brenner. When the dust had settled, our men had beaten the Nilfgaardians. We ceased to call ourselves an Imperial province that day. You captured the sword during the battle? Yes, it was Witcher Cohen's. A strapping fellow and a rare breed. Not very talkative, mind you. Like most of us. I gave my word the sword would find another Witcher. As he lay dying, he mumbled about teeth and destiny. Then he laughed at his own death. Yet you lost it gambling? I kept it hidden for five years. I lost hope I'd ever run into another Witcher. Miss Shani knew Cohen. She works at the hospital. Thanks. Good luck on the path. Godspeed. No sign of Javed or the Professor. This bunch should cave easily. Let's do this.
Something must be done. Who's this? This wasn't our deal, cop! Relax. Just a witcher. Surely you know witchers are golems. No will of their own. Follow orders quick and easy. No complaints. Right, Geralt? Right. See? Nothing to be afraid of. You didn't exactly come alone. Now let's deal. I don't trust him. Heard he was a fucking murderer, cut up over a dozen of our people. Let's not play who killed who. That's the past. We're interested in the future. Your future. Which will be unpleasant if Javed learns you cheated him. And believe me, he'll learn shortly if you don't start talking. You're bluffing. You don't scare me. Enough. Where's Javed? Where are the Witcher's secrets? Spit it out before I feed you to the rats. Vincent, stop him! I know nothing! I was assistant to Salamandra's accountant. Javed stopped trusting me. I don't know where he is or what he intends. The Professor? I, I don't know. He went off somewhere. Bullshit. You need encouragement. You promised me protection in exchange for my testimony. On my mother's grave, I know nothing! Stop him! You're a cop! This is murder! You, you're gonna stand by and watch? No. I'm leaving. Besides, I know you had a part in murdering Raymond's family. Witcher, make it quick. How did things go at the warehouse once I left? Quickly. Good. I admit I was hoping for a bit more, but it's always a few bandits less. That's the last time you use me. I'm not a general Avenger. Had no choice, believe me. It won't happen again. You have my word. I guess you plan to continue the investigation. Don't have a choice. I can't help officially, but I'll leave you to it. Anything you learn, I'd be glad to hear. I know about your connection to Salamandra. Curiosity is killing me. I have irrefutable evidence you're not involved. I wish you'd said so sooner. Well... Here's a city guard ring. Wear it, and the guard shouldn't give you any trouble. Thanks. Know anything else about Salamandra? Salamandra aims to take over the Fistech trade. Javed smelled the money in it. He's a junkie himself. No passage. I'm going inside. Disease patients inside. I'll not have you spreading the pestilence. <coughs> Geralt. You managed to get out of prison. I did, though it wasn't easy. I've heard about your deeds. Hmm. I see you're working at the hospital. I'm fighting the plague. No time for chit-chat. When can we talk? I have a room in the northern end of town. Stop by after work. Okay. Quickly. I need to get back to work. Where are you staying? I have a room in the northeastern end of Vizima. Easy to find? Opposite the house, there's a small square with a sculpture of a snake. Quickly, I need to get back to work. I saw guards. They delivered this badly injured man. Who injured him? Guards won't talk to me. He must be important. They want a quick recovery. I'd like to question this man. Come back in the evening. The guards might be more talkative, especially with strong drink in hand. All right, I'll come back later. Quickly, I need to get back to work. I need to talk to you. Can it wait? Well, I suppose. Visit me at home. The hospital's no place for personal matters. How can I help? Your skills are no good here. Shani, I do other things besides kill. We don't have a cure for the plague yet, but... Did you know Rusty? Don't recall. Before the plague took him, he discovered certain plant extracts retarded the disease's progress. You need those plants? Yes, the best one's Celandine. Unfortunately, it's only found on swampy ground. I'll try to help. 
Every blossom counts. Bring at least five sprouts. Here's the Celandine. Excellent. I'm really grateful. I'd prefer a monster anatomy lesson. I know about Fledders. Hi, Geralt. Hi, Shani. I miss Oxenfurt sometimes. You could always go back. No, I'm needed here. Few have your immunity. I wanted to talk. Quickly, I need to get back to work. I'm so tired. I'm sleeping. Stay away from the prisoner. Stay away from the prisoner. I want to ask some questions. Uh, uh, Shh, he's talking. Uh, uh, Kalkstein, he... He's passed out, shove off. There's a commotion in the corridor. Bloody thugs. Ramsmeat sent them. What's he want? Say something! Does Shani live here? Yes. They send you from the hospital? You certainly look ill. Gods are punishing you. Yes, I'm from the hospital. You can go upstairs, just don't force yourself on the girl! Finally, you found me. Looks like it. How'd you get past the old hag? That nice lady downstairs? She's made my life hell. Girls your age should be married. That's what she thinks. Is your rent low at least? At least my rent is low. Doctors earn little in Temeria. Many leave. You stayed. Someone had to. Anyway. Yes? Shani. I wanted to talk. What is it? Sometimes I dream about the Battle of Brenna. The massacre. I'm sorry. But that's it. I'm not sorry. I wake up refreshed and it's like I'm used to suffering. Does that make sense? It does. Thanks. Sometimes it's good to share. Don't mention it. Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I heard you saw Cohen shortly before he died. That's right. How did you know? I found his sword. He died during the battle at Brenna, on my operating table. You were a medic at Brenna? I worked alongside a surgeon named Rusty, best doctor I ever knew. Knew? He died when the Catriona Plague erupted, in Maribor. Though a halfling, he could operate like no one else. He made everything seem simple. Stitch red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, and everything will be all right. Ah, you wouldn't understand. Sorry, Shani, I didn't know him. Do you know anything about this sword? No. But you should ask the Dwarf, Sultan Chive. His knowledge of weapons is unmatched. What do you want? Greetings, Dwarf. Racial segregation with the first words uttered. What do you want me to call you? Bah! You're like everyone else. Like the whole accursed city. Vizima humans get everything we get not. I neither live in Vizima, nor am I human. What then? A witcher. A mutant. Well, in that case, sorry. I'm Golan Vivaldi. My cousin, Vimy Vivaldi, once met a witcher. A debt collector, apparently. I'm Geralt, and I'm no debt collector. What brings you here? How's business? I don't want to discuss it. Your choice. 
Yes, I have that left. A lucky dwarf. What brings you here? I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. You suspect me because I'm a dwarf? I have several suspects, not only dwarves. What do you want? I've got my eye on you. Come back when you stop talking crap. I want to discuss Salamandra. Why? The professor's bail money came from your bank. You offend me deeply with this slander. But... Generations of Vivaldi's built this bank, and you suggest our gold serves criminals? Out! I believe you. Nothing but a pile of suspicions. I have to assume you're clean for now. You've rejected racial prejudice and realized the truth. When you discover the true culprit, you tell me. I'm curious who it is. Witcher! Zoltan Chive, good to see you. You got inside the town okay? Plenty of work for a Witcher in Vizima. It seems so. How did you manage to get in? Nasty non-humans will always find a way to sneak into human homes. True enough. Listen, Zoltan, I wanted to talk to you. Yes? Know anything about Vivaldi's bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? New owners. Humans. That explains a lot. Really? How are you doing? Ever considered marriage, Geralt? My profession's not exactly conducive to marriage. Infertility, incessant risk, travel. Not many women would agree to that. You see, I'm having doubts. Go on. I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm getting jealous. She dwarves are so desirable. I suggest we drink heavily, if that doesn't help. You mocking me? I wouldn't dare. Hardly something to laugh about. Got a minute? What's eating you? I warn you, some philosophy's involved. The meaning of life, eh? The evil that witchers fight stems from chaos, from actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. Nicely put, but as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? The right of witches to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance, because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. Progress is like a herd of pigs. The herd brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witchers exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity, which kills more than the Catriona Plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. I'm not so sure. Let me tell you something, Witcher. Once, we led a group of women and children through a war-torn land. They slowed us down. We had to feed them, protect them. And we had to hide in the woods to pee instead of passing by the road. In short, they were a burden, and ungrateful at that. Know why we helped them? It was the right thing to do. I understand. Thanks. Yes? I'm looking for work. Monsters are threatening the landing in the swamp. Everyone keeps complaining. Who should I talk to about ridding them of the danger? Contact Luvarden. He's usually on the dike, supervising the loading and unloading of goods. Thanks, Sultan. Yes? What do you know about my silver sword? What, me? A simple dwarf? Shani insisted your knowledge of weapons is unequaled. All right. Silver-plated blade. A steel core. Suited to a two-handed grip. Decent workmanship, not perfect. 
I don't know runes for shit. Thanks. No problem. Farewell. What brings you here? I've figured out Azar Javed's contacts. Interesting. Sorry I suspected you. I know you've lost control of your bank. Kind to be so frank with a dwarf. Anytime. I have information about Javed that might be useful. Even the smallest details sometimes are. I saw his name in old files. He paid tuition at the sorcerer school in Barnard. He was expelled after taking an interest in dark magic. He stopped paying tuition and that was the last trace of him in our system. You're dealing with a renegade, and a dangerous one at that. I hope you recover your assets. That bank has belonged to my family for ages, and now some human. You call this justice? Goodbye. Damn, you again? They let you into town? Are you Lou Varden? I am. Let's talk. Yes? How's business? You think me a seller of turnips? I run businesses you can't even fathom. I see. You're confusing reflected stars for the night sky. I'm waiting for important news. Let's talk. Yes? I think you're paying for salamander pins. I'm just not sure why you would do that. You're mistaken. Why so defensive? I'm also after Salamandra and can prove it. If so, bring me three pins. Then we'll talk. I have three Salamander pins. Will you tell me about your secret society now? Excellent. I normally pay 20 apiece, but I'll make an exception. I'll give you 10 times that. Great, but I still want to know why you're paying bounty hunters to track down bandits. They're not good for business. Your business? All businesses. Listen, there are forces beyond your imagination at work here. Be thankful you don't know the world for what it is. Luvardin, I've heard so many high and mighty speeches that yours doesn't impress me. I don't give a shit about these forces. My only concern is reaching the Salamandra leaders and killing Azar Javed. That I'd like to see. Should you succeed, find me, and I'll reward you handsomely. And if you destroy Salamandra as a whole, I will repay you for your efforts. That won't be easy. I may come see you again, and I'll be counting on your assistance. I'll help if I can. See you later. Yes? I heard creatures threaten the transport of goods. Yes, I assume you're not asking for curiosity's sake. I'm hoping someone will pay for their removal. I may. The dog by the swamp is crucial to my business. The creatures have caused me losses. What are the beasts like? Drowners. They emerge at night, destroying goods and murdering carriers. I'll pay 400 orns to be rid of them. A pleasure doing business. Indeed. Farewell. Transport services at the best prices. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind? Ready to go? How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. <laughs>